because we only had half a crown, five bob a week, uh, and we used to get egg and chips. But we, I cannot remember having any really big cooked dinners on the ship because when we used to go to Scatter Flow, escorting the convoys, we used to live off a, a what was it, cocoa? Cocoa and tripe and onions. And that's all I can remember. And it was that every day, every day, till we come back in the scatter flow. Now, when we come back, we was there for about two or three days. And I never had nothing, not a home then. I mean, it was no good writing letters, as far as I know, because we didn't know if they'd ever... Well, you couldn't get post letters when you was at sea, could you? <laughs> there was no post box on the boat. <laughs> now, I... I don't think they did till I came home. I left there three years back again. Um, just think a bit more bit about the living conditions. Was it hot, cold in, in, in the ship? Oh, no, it was all right in the ship. Well, I'd say it was all right in the ship. It just depends where we were. Like, it was cold when we was it on the Arctic convoys because you never took your clothes off for three weeks. You never washed. We could have. We used to have a bucket of water in the mess, and you just go down. That was it. That was your lot. Then, then you came. When we used to come back in the scatter flow, we could get a, a shower. What about sounds? Any particular sounds that stood out? No, because we was everything was in silence. I mean, there was no sounds at all when you was on the ship. When we was on. When we was on them ships, there was no sound at all, no wirelesses and no nothing. It was dead. It was like sitting here now, and you just sailed and back again. There was no officers shaking their heads off at you or anything like that. No, it was all quiet. You just, everybody just done their jobs, keep quiet, which you had to in them days, listen for any anything that was going on. Oh, you heard the sound of the sea, yeah, oh yeah, that was cold, that was rushing. Especially when it used to come over the top and think, <laughs> that's cold, you say, hey, that's cold, yeah. And uh, I did sentry duty one night time there on the jetty, and got friendly with a US sailor, uh, and he said, are you on again tomorrow? And I said, I think so. And he brought me a nice fork and spoon. Oh, we had hammocks. And they were the best, best things for on the ship. Because no matter which way the ship went, the hammock always stayed where it was like. Yeah, you could rock each other's hammock. And were you kept awake by yes. the others? Well, <laughs> some could really snore, you know. <laughs> and they used to have these pilot lights on the, on the bulkhead. Uh, and if you put a piece of lighted paper under there, swarms of cockroaches would would come out, you know. And the blokes used to catch two or three of them. And then we, we'd have them on the mess take as, as a race. Have some match, match boxes lined up and make a little track. <laughs> and have a bet or two on a, on a cockroach who got the other end first. Or... Most evenings they'd have um, a tombola. And so you go up to the uh, recreation room and uh, have a game of um, tombola. And they always had the radio, so we would listen to that. And then blokes would be having hobbies. One chap on our mess, he uh, did a cathedral in uh, matchsticks. And the patience, you know, to cut the heads off the matchsticks with a little razor blade. And... Uh, measure them up and glue them up and when he completed it it was you know really really good and can you sort of tell me about what were the most memorable smells of the trip well i suppose the curry the cocoa was a uh, one of the best and as like i say you, you could go back and have as much as 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 you wanted and it was uh, really thick and, and and really did help keep you warm it did and I always had a good game of uh, deck hockey. I used to play that every uh, evening with a rope, uh, like a coil grommet. I used to, used to play regularly, and I used to be up there every night. <laughs>